and welcome to Prodocio Education Corporation. My name is Jennifer. My name is Jennifer. And we're going to help you with computer setup uh, for new hires specifically. So you have received a box. It's a very large box. Uh, it was shipped to you. Hopefully you followed the instructions and you're waiting for the trainer or your manager to help you with the setup. We're going to go ahead and open up the box. So if you want to go ahead and grab your box, you can go ahead and open it, remove some of the packing materials. One thing that we will tell you is throughout this video, please feel free to pause and rewind as necessary to help yourself out. So in opening the box, we've got our very first uppermost box. We're just gonna look through all of the pieces that they have been sent to make sure we have everything that we need and to also define what you should be looking for. Go for it. All right, so in our smaller box is going to be our headset. There will be another box which will include your nano cube computer. You will have a USB DC adapter, a mouse, and your keyboard. So go ahead and take all that stuff out and line it up. You can go ahead and take this if it came in a bag. Really want to show you what this DP adapter, the USB-C adapter looks like. You'll see on the one end, there's a USB-C port. And on the other end, there's another part that can be um, plugged into there. So make sure this is a really important component. So don't lose that. You may want to just kind of lay these things all out in front of you so that you can see it. Let's go ahead and grab the second box here. It is one of your monitors that you will have. So you do have your display board cable that will connect to that adapter. You have a base. You have an arm for the base. It is a possibility that those are already connected. If that's the case, that's fine. You have your actual power cord. That you're going to have to power your monitor. And then you have your monitor itself. So it's going to be the secondary monitor that you're going to have. And make sure that you're saving all your boxes. Um, just in case anything is broken, we have that ready to go so you can ship that back to you. So again, lay everything out in front of you. Then you have it ready to go. Now we have our third and final box inside the box. We're going to go ahead and take that out as well. I want to be careful, obviously. Things are falling out. So there's the monitor that is here. I'm going to leave that wrapped. It looks like there is also another base. There's a power cord. You can see this one has that middle power bar that's there. And then it looks like the mount for the actual monitor. So I'm kind of putting these out and putting them kind of in order of how we took them out of the box so that we can see them as we go. So what should we do first? Um, I think we should probably set up our main monitor. So this was the third box that you opened right here. You're going to carefully remove the bubble wrap. All right. We have the monitor. You can see that there in the back is a lot of different things uh, we want to make you aware of. There's a little button here that allows this to go up and down. You'll see that this is where we're going to put the arm for the base to hold into. And then you'll also notice that there's a couple ports in the back right there at the bottom. So just be aware that you're going to probably be using these for different things as well. All right. So this is what we're going to call monitor number one. Oh, one other call out. This is where your camera is, right here. So what I would suggest is put this flat. In fact, I'm going to try and adjust the camera so that you can see this a little bit better. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to take, first of all, this base. You're going to go ahead and put the base on top of there. There's a little screw of some sort. They need Isabel's help here at some point. <laughs> There we go. Make sure it's tight so that it stays there. It looks like this has a little bit of a rotating base here you can see. 
it kind of moves so that when you have it on the on the table, you can kind of move it a little bit more easily. And this actually goes in fairly easily. If you look right here, you just kind of put it in and it snaps right into place. So this is your first monitor right here. Okay, so your first monitor is already set up. You will see that the power cord that we have for this is going to need to be plugged into this monitor as well. So in the back, turn this around for you, near the bottom, there's one that looks yellow and you'll see that the end of this is also yellow, nice color to color. Go ahead and unwrap the cord and you can go ahead and plug it in. I can't see because I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. So it's plugged in and then you can plug this one into the wall. Now, we're not done with this monitor just yet. So I'm gonna let Isabel take over on this next part. All right, we do monitor two first. Oh yeah, let's fine. So we're gonna put this over to the side for a minute. Um, so we're going to go ahead and set up a monitor too. So again, we're going to take our base. We have the display board cable that we're going to put to the side for now. We do have our power adapter for the second monitor. We're going to unwrap it with the bubble wrap. Here we are, our second monitor. So again, we do have similar to the first one where it's very simple where we're gonna attach the base, the arm, and then um, you have the front here. There is no camera to this one. So again, it's really just attaching the base with the arm here. So it's literally a snap in like that. So we're just snapping down. And this is the arm that's gonna connect to the actual um, monitor itself. So okay. Awesome. A little better. Perfect. So this is just going to be a slide in. So here I have this down. The um, metal prongs are flat against the monitor and I am just sliding up towards the monitor itself. So if I need to take it out, I just press the button that's here. And I'm literally just sliding it in and we are ready to go. For all of our purposes here, we are going to call this one monitor two. So monitor one was the one that we set up first. This one is monitor two. My recommendation would be to put monitor one on the left, put monitor two on the right, because once you set it up, that's probably going to make the display work most easily with the mouse. You can always adjust it later on if you need to, but that'll make it more easy. And again, we are powering directly. So there is at underneath right here where you're actually going to plug in. I recommend just putting your monitor down and then matching the prongs, just like Tetris. You know, just plug it in. <laughs> it's like a little puzzle, it's like a little puzzle. <laughs> exactly. Um, you do have the, the power uh, adapter, the cord. You're gonna, um, it's actually attached to the adapter itself. So this is that, um, was it USB-C adapter? Yes. So you're gonna attach it to one end, so adapter to the actual cord, display cord, and then you're gonna attach the other one to this monitor. So again, I'll put it back down, we can see, and we are attaching it here, like so. so you're gonna have essentially two cords to monitor two. All right. Take a deep breath. If you're not tech savvy, this is okay. <laughs> you can always rewind this video and watch it again if you need to, if, you, if you're unsure if you have everything uh, placed correctly. Placement is going to be key though. If you miss a component, it's gonna be really hard to make your computer work correctly. And keep in mind, again, you can pause, right? So you can pause and connect. Yes, pause and connect. absolutely. All right. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take out this little box. This is called the tiny all-in-one. Yes. That's also what we known as the nano computer. Also known as the nano. Now, you may or may not have an antenna. And if you don't have an antenna, that's fine. I want you to be aware that it only goes up and down in one direction, but it does swing around. Be really careful with this. Don't force it to go a different direction. 
What we want to do is have it facing directly out. Actually, what I would do is put it this way and then put it straight out. Because eventually when we put this in the back of the first monitor, we're going to want to put that antenna up like that. But for now, we'll just go ahead and leave it out there. Now, you have all been taught in your lives to be very gentle with computer equipment. And this is one of those times that we're going to say, don't listen to that advice. Because this does not click easily into place. So one of the things that we found is that in order to make sure that the second monitor works and that your mouse works and that your keyboard works, this really needs to be in there securely. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lift this up. Again, if you don't have this for some reason, that's fine. It's just really cosmetic more than anything else. What we're going to do is this fits back. Now, I want you to be really careful and place this top antenna portion near the top. So we're going over here and we are going to go ahead and we're gonna push this in. Now, this is where I'm gonna say, you have to not be super gentle with it. Uh, we've just really found challenges if you don't really shove it in. So if you're nice, take that nice filter off for a minute. <laughs> it won't come out the other side. It so. will not come out the other side. So really shove it in place, okay? If for some reason later on, when you go to turn this on, the second monitor isn't working or a mouse isn't working, one of the troubleshooting techniques that I would recommend, that we would recommend, is to take this thing out. You can push it back out just by pushing, right? And then you can go ahead and really, if you need to, shove it back in. See, again, it was a little forceful with that. There are some little clips down here that you can go ahead and use to tighten this into place. I would make sure that it's operational before you put these clips on. And I believe there's one on the top and one on the bottom here. Let's kind of push in and twist. Then this is gonna be where you're gonna see, you need to put this antenna up to go through here. See, if, if it's straight, it won't close well, it'll get stuck. So put that antenna up, you can go ahead and close it and you can see that the antenna is right there. Sometimes it might be covered, so you can just pop that out um, if it's not a hole there, yeah. um, and you can essentially discard of that piece if it's not necessary. Yeah, it's just one of those manufacturing things that they, you know, make the indentation and expect you to pop it out. Most likely yours has been popped out, but if it's not, you're not ruining anything by popping that out. All right, so we've got your first monitor. The Nano is now in there. The next thing that we want to do is we want to connect the two monitors. So remember that DisplayPort cable, the adapter that you attach together. Now this is actually going to connect your um, main monitor and your monitor one. So again, you're going to see this is a C-type um, board that you're going to put in. Am I covering it? I think maybe. Hold on. <laughs> Comedy of errors a little bit here. <laughs> so let's see. No, I think it's a not one itself. It's in the R. Go ahead and turn this up. And yes, so you will find it in the all-in-one behind here. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Let okay. me see. Do you want to see the Yeah, maybe. There we go. Let's that. There we go. And she's like performing laparoscopic surgery over here. Oh, no. There we are. Make sure that's nice and tight in there. There we go. We are good. So we've connected to, again, the all-in-one itself um, on the side there. So you're going to notice there are just some additional ports there, too, um, that have USB. So we're also going to connect our keyboard and mouse here. Oh, yeah multiple ports that you can use in order to plug in your com uh, computer components like the keyboard and the mouse. So it looks like there is one right here on the side of the Nano. I believe there's also a couple um, in uh, other spots as well. So we'll explore where those are. I'm putting my mouse in next to the C-Type. So that's good to go there. And then we'll go ahead and connect the keyboard to the bottom. Mm 
on the side. See on that monitor, she plugged it right into the side, right there. Excellent. Okay, and I think the last thing um, is obviously connecting it to the um, your power cords, the actual outlets. And we'll do that for both. Again, you need two outlets for both monitors itself. The second monitor does not power on its own. It needs to be connected to your main monitor. So if you notice that that's not connected, you got to make sure it's actually connected to the, the wall, um, as well as connected to monitors. Number one. A couple of troubleshooting tips in case something isn't working when you go to turn it on. Initially, when you turn your computer on, you are going to have the PGP passphrase. It says Symantec. That comes up. That will probably only be on your main monitor. But once you go ahead and put that in and your trainer or your manager should have supplied that to you with your login credentials, then you can go ahead and log into the Windows system and you should see both monitors power on. Again, if your second monitor is not working, it's probably most likely that this nano just needs to be pushed in a little bit more forcefully than what you already did. Um, really just be aware that it needs to click. There's some sort of connection there and sometimes it's just not securely enough in there. And so that's why you have to be a little forceful with it. Other troubleshooting things, if your keyboard isn't working or let's say your mouse isn't working, try plugging it into a different USB port. There are several on this computer. Um, so just kind of look for a different one and see if it works. Obviously, if you are having other issues, other options are to call the help desk. Uh, the help desk, you should have been supplied with that number. Also, if you're in our training class, you can go ahead and ask for help. We can definitely assist you if there's something that doesn't work. My best recommendation would be to watch the video again and slow down if you are a little overwhelmed by everything. It's a lot if you're not used to setting up computer equipment, but hopefully by being able to see it, it made it a little bit clearer for you. Anything else you wanna add? Um, don't forget, you do have your headset that you do wanna plug in, so it does exist. So make sure you go ahead and plug that in as well. Um, but other than that, you can set up your, your station as you like it. Um, and be all set. Um, I think one last thing. I know sometimes yeah. the camera can be a little sticky. So be a little aggressive too with moving it. Yeah. It does move up and down, but you do might have, might have to put a little little muscle in it. Yeah, there is a little uh, kind of thing that comes up to make it a little easier, but yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is a little sticky. You're not going to break it. It just twists and that's the best way to, to work on it. Um, other than that, Good luck. Welcome to Prodocio Education Corporation. We're glad we could help you with this stuff. You have a great day.